that is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya and today we are going to be checking out the English extreme metal band Carcass. I'm very excited. This has been heavily requested by many of y'all um, and uh, it's time. Specifically, I want to give a shout out to one of my Discord members, Mr. Russ. I love you so much. Um, this video is dedicated to you and it's going to be very exciting. I don't know what to expect. We have three different records, five different songs, and it's going to be a very, very fun time. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do so, girl. What are you doing? Join our metal journey, and uh, you can be a part of a, an amazing crew of people. We just talk metal and do lots of metal things. Um, you can also join our Discord, the Mosh Pit. There is an invite link down below that you can join. And, yeah, let me know stuff about Carcass, and like and share the video. Y'all know the deal. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first song we're going to listen to is off of the 1989 record Symphonies of Sickness. And it is the song Excoriating Abdominal Emanation. <laughs> Quite a title. <laughs> really nice it's like part singing that's a little bit higher with this like really deep ugh, ugh, guttural like layer and piece right underneath tasty tasty I like where it's going I like the vibe of this so far and the transition was very smooth <laughs> sort of like guttural uh, it's a really nice sound I really really like it whoa it's very different it's a very different vibe <laughs>
I'm overwhelmed. There was a lot going on. Oh, this section right here is so sick, nasty. Not only is this solo, like, it's not even a solo, it's just like this lead part. Mm, super catchy. It's in the pocket. It's groovy. And also, right before this, they had like that little guitar solo, and then everything stopped, and you just heard like one drum. And then they went into the speedy section. That was nice. They're doing so many different, like, transitions and changing the tempo and, like, just all these different vibes, like, so quick and so fluidly at the same time. Mm. Mm. trying to like wrap around like everything that we just heard because as soon as I got comfortable with one groove they immediately switched it to something else and then once I was like oh okay we switched they switched it again <laughs> wow oh my gosh very clean recording definitely like I said really really enjoyed the like heavier like deeper uh vocal guttural tone <laughs> really really enjoyed that oh my goodness okay let's have a look at these lyrics there's no comments but that's okay it's excoriating abominable emanation what a freaking title i want the lyrics symphonies of sickness i've heard that this is like a good album track three this song describes mutilating a body in a manner heretofore unseen here to four here to four i don't know here to four unseen in a carcass song what does here to four mean 1989 vilely i just dis defile chastise Humiliate, writhing, agonized, as I violate to impregnate. Some cannibal corpse lyrics. These words, out of context, make it sound like he's raping somebody. Cheese. But no, they don't mean that kind of impregnation. They just mean putting stuff inside a body. And as you're about to see, the stuff is not itself bodily, and it's put into a place that isn't going to lead to any babies. Bubba, what are we talking about? Gurgulate? What is that? Innards gurgulate as they're sickly baptized, rumbling deep in the bowels. Your rectum I will flood with bleach, detergents, and suds. Oof. Not my kind of anal. Rupturing your gallbladder, liver bleached and soaked. Lungs now flooded with bicarbonates and boiling soap. Orifices pumped and plugged, rectal membranes split. I'm getting a hand cramp. Just listen to this. Evaporating your bowels, anal m 
muscle rips. Boa, this is our first song and you're already talking about stuff like this? I mean, my lord. Uh, what kind of mood? Are these horny boys? The Cannibal Corpse boys were horny. These are some horny boys? Are they into butt stuff? Sounds like it. I grope in the grind, the evaporating motion slush, pulverizing your gut in my rubber boots and gloves. You are Nate's purple and raw Brio pad scour and his cleanse. Sticking plasters and abrased organs to try and make amends. This process you will loathe. Your first instinct may be remark, how can they? They're dead, but you realize it technically never did say the person is dead. In fact, they don't die until the end of the con the next stanza. The above has all been done to a living victim. Goodness gracious. Oh man, the anus sucked inside out. My victim now distraught. Rectal tissue I scald as I boil the inner core. Ugh. Sounds like a bad time. All right, I mean, you know, we're here for it. We're on a, on an adventure, I guess. What do we got here? All right. Sounds good to me. I mean, I guess. Uh, regardless of the weird lyrics, um, I really enjoyed the production. I really enjoyed the layout of the song. Um, definitely a different vibe. I don't mind it. I think that the transitions were really cool, and I definitely want to, like, listen to it more. Um, it makes me think of, of summer. <laughs> Sometimes I say that, and you might think it's weird, but it makes me want to just, like, put it on in my car. Like, I could see myself jamming to that in my car, for sure. So the next song we are going to listen to is called Corporal Jigsaw Quandary. Another great title. And this is off of their album Necrotism, Desanting the Insalubrious. Oh, it's Jigsaw? Oh, it's not Jigsaw? Corporal Jigsaw Quandary. What the frick does that mean? All right, well, let's watch the music video. I don't know what any of this means, but we're going to watch it, so... other and it's almost like a callback sort of thing and it's just like it's just a good groovy just it's relentless it's relentless this looks like a very fun show also I wish I could see the back of their stage a little bit better but it looks like all these like torture surgical instruments and that looks really really dope <laughs> Yeah. 
and it kind of rings out, and then they go into it. That's really catchy. Oh. Yeah, I could see myself just like bopping this in my car and just like drumming on the steering wheel. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He was like climbing up there, all these little notes, he just kept going. And then once you get there, -na 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 -na, this like slow sort of pocket. Oh. Also the kid that does like this super the super deep note doesn't look like he could do that. He doesn't look like you, he could make that kind of noise come out of his mouth. But he can. Oh he definitely can. I'm enjoying this so far. <laughs> Carcass Live and they've played this song before and tell me what that was like because that like mm, that was in the pocket that was so in the pocket <laughs> The man legit played a guitar riff on the drums. <laughs> what does that even mean? Just discovered them like three months ago, better than never, and suddenly fall in love with them. Believe it or not, but I once was at a wedding where the bride and groom wished this song to be played, and in full wedding attire, bang the crap out of their heads. Oh my god. Undoubtedly one of the greatest metal bands of all time. Ugh. It's groovy. It's groovy, groovy. 
This is a banger. Oh. And when the beat dropped, she was fat. She was a fat daddy. This is a good summer banger. This is a good jamming out in your car, you know, doing your thing. Corporal Jigsaw, right? Quandary. I don't have any idea what that means. Chat 2. Let's see. Title contains a gory pun, putting sore into jigsaw, a staple technique of carcasses. Staple technique of carcasses. Uh, corporal equals body related and quandary equals puzzle or dilemma. Putting it all together, one gets the image of a guy looking at a bunch of severed body parts, struggling to figure out how they fit together. All right. Um, sort of like what the opening speech describes. Wow, a body part puzzle, huh? Keeping the freak going, I see. Forensic, clinicism, the sanguine article. Oh yeah, I think that's the next one that we're doing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Excised and anatomized. Deviscerated disarray. To surgically cut or remove excised. Although... Div God, these words. Deviscerated is not a word in the English language. Oh, it's not? It appears to be used in a similar fashion to the word eviscerated or disemboweled. The first line of the song alone paints a grim picture with a corpse found in a rather <laughs> incomplete state. Though it's not entirely clear if the narrator had a hand in the murder or if they simply found the body, they will attempt to reassemble it and will take great pleasure in doing so. These carcass boys, man, they're freaky. I like to talk about bodies and stuff. Deathly amputated, evulsed limbs now defunct. The trunk and brood, tatty stumps used as legs. For a chondrin puzzle so quaint, head and body de decolate. A head... A heaving mass so... Oh, God. Guys, que... Quiescent? Quiescent? Quiescent. Is that it? Resting motionless. This is a seeming contradiction with he heaving? Heaving? Heaving. Which implies motion. It perhaps could mean that what was once a heaving mass is now quiescent. I'm assuming it's quiescent. Don't you laugh at me, okay? I've got dyslexia. I can't help it, okay? Um, what is this line? A cold mannequin reassembled, astute brain teaser, incorporate flesh and bones so mortifying. In contrast from the previous verse where the remains once resembled a human figure, the narrator has managed to reconstruct the victim such that they now more or less look like a person again. As such, their morbid jigsaw puzzle is complete, although the end result doesn't look pretty. Yeah, well... Man, Bubba, they're using a lot of big words. What is that? Ulig... Uliginess. You... You... Ug... Ugliness? No. I don't know what that means. Uliginess. Slimy. I want to own Carcasses Thesaurus. It is no ordinary one. What does that word? How do you pronounce that? Hold on. How do you pronounce that? What is that word? Uh, carcass. You can't do this to me, okay? Growing in wet or swampy ground. How do you pronounce it? Pronounce. No, pronounce. I want to know it. Ugh. How to pronounce. Uligneous. What is that? Uligne. Uliginous. 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 Uliginous mess so quiescent. Ooh. That's poetic. That's really poetic. All right. Uliginous. You learn something new every day when you listen to metal. Uh, 
Yeah. Do they just, like, get bored and just, like, dig through their thesaurus and just find, like, the weirdest words they can that are kind of, like, gory and gross? It seems like it. <laughs> All right. So we're sticking with the same record. Um, and we are going to forensic clinicism slash the sanguine article. I can hear my discord laughing at me from here, so I don't need you to laugh at me also. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's a part of the experience. It's the first time I'm like reading it, okay, out loud. I like kind of read it in my head. And then we do these videos and I just butcher it. It's making me laugh. I can't. I'm gonna cry with laughter. Oh my god. I'm just gonna yawn it out. I can't. What is this called? A forensic clinicism. My god. Okay. Clinic clinicism. articulating my thoughts now and I can't keep up with the transitions but I'm enjoying what I'm listening to and I'm catching it I'm catching it and this part is sick like I said before it's in the pocket they're really good about these quick transitions and when they slow it down it's groovy when they slow it down it's perfect and it's in the right spot so they they, they flirt with it for sure <laughs> Yeah. Nice. 
something and then had the other vocalist doing this like really awesome guttural that was just like layering in it and it's almost like it was softer at first and then it keeps going and they gave it like a little bit of reverb and then towards the, the last one that he did it matched so the lead singer matched what he was doing and they both kind of came together it was a nice resolve that was really really cool so nasty live that's an absolute pit opener like oh I like almost got chills also this album cover looks like that surgeon game what's that surgery game where you just like try and operate on patients that's what it looks like oh man this is tasty <laughs> Hey. 
ending, though? That ending. Oh, and they held it, too. Banana. Banana. They held it for, like, two beats. Oh! Oh! Wow! That's my favorite song so far. That's my favorite song. Absolutely bar none. That's my favorite. That groove, man. That ending was groovy. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Will you stop licking everything? Coda is just staring me a new one. Oh my goodness. I have no words. I'm literally just experiencing <laughs> forensic clinicism. Let's see how weird these boys get in this song. Oh, look at that. No notes because nobody really knows what we're talking about. That's okay, though. Dakota, leave the shoe alone. Okay? Oh, man. What does this word even mean? Salute to Ferris. Go ahead and laugh all you want, alright? I understand. You can laugh and just watch me suffer. I don't know what that means. Salute to Ferris. Salute to Ferris. Promoting good health. This is not approved, but... Exaltation praise Fusty. What is Fusty? Moldy? Sorting through an old carcass and describing it as he's performing some sort of honor upon it, of course, as you do. Pultaceous. Pugnacious. Pernicious. Acroidiopathic. Wow, I sound smart saying that. Soft, pulpy, quarrelsome, harmful, pertaining to a human limb of unknown cause. Carcasses always making up new words by combining old ones. Artificially concussed, excavating to your gastric core, patulous, deep wounds, cascading, and crimson as I explore. Oh, I like that. Patulous, spreading as tree. As a tree, this is a poetic line, likening the blood flow to a beatific rivulet. Oh my god, even their freaking... Fans make notes with these big words. What do y'all do all day? Just deep read the sources? I mean, my gosh. Gastric idiopathology? Oh. Notice the shifting geography. Earlier he was studying the limbs. Now he's moving closer to the body's core. That makes me sound smart. Gastro idiopathology? Mm. Makes me sound like I'm a surgeon. Costate cuts expunged as the patient I now fillet. He's splicing up the body into portions. Methodically, very surgically. Your precordium, I brutally plunger. Precordium, the region of the thorax immediately in front of the heart. He's not hacking, uh, hacking away at random, he knows his stuff. What is this? Exsanguinating, you're totally parched. Removing the blood from. Exsanguinating. Decortication. Y'all didn't warn me! The detortication. That's how you pronounce that. I'm just looking for big words here. Alright, so we're talking about more dead carcass weird stuff. Which is totally, you know, I'm here. I'm on board. This is just a little bit sick, he said. <laughs> really? You don't say? I think this is pretty tame considering. <laughs> I, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. I don't mind it one single bit. Even big words and all. Because, like... It's all just kind of like, I don't know, gory, fun lyrics, you know? Um, and you can tell that they just have fun with it. And especially with these like bigger words, they have fun with it. And I think that that's such a cool way to 
write your songs, honestly, is to just like play around with the words. I think it's very unique and it's um, it's something we really haven't seen in, in the metal bands that we've had on this channel, um, is just the play around with the words. Using really big words, um, it's kind of going to be a corny comparison, but I feel like I just watched some of 8 Mile recently, and I feel like Eminem was kind of doing that in his previous, like, his first few albums. He was really exploring and using a lot of, like, bigger words, I guess you could say. Like I said, kind of a corny comparison, but this is really cool. This is a really cool use of bigger words, songwriting, metal, mixed with the technicality of, of their production, how, are they, how they're writing the songs. It's just it's obvious that they're extremely talented, extremely talented. And um, to the average listener, it would just be like noise. And, but I noticed like the transitions, I noticed like the layers and, and the sort of things that they're doing. Um, and they do it so fluidly, man. It's like, you can't even tell. And like I said previously, when they have those little breakdowns, they're just so in the pocket and they don't, you don't expect it and they come so perfectly that it's just like, oh, I'm here for it. So we've got two more songs. We're now moving to 1993 to their album Hard Work. Coda's hmm. got an itch. We're now moving to 1993 to their album Heart Work. Now Spooner's got an itch. And we're going to listen to the title track, Heartwork. Out and they just pan his guitar all the way over here and then bring everything back in. Oh! <laughs> tears. I almost felt tears. 
They're playing around with the pans in this song, dude. And it's tasty. So you start off here, right before you get into the real song, with that guitar. And this whole, like, verse section, his lead is panned all the way here. And then it comes here, right before this, like, fast-paced section. And the bass is all the way here. So they're giving you, oh man, I wish it was just a little bit louder in the pans, but it's catchy. Um, the breakdown, ugh, oh, telling you, these boys, man, these boys, they know what they're doing. They absolutely know what they're doing. <laughs> favorite metal bands that we've had on this channel, all right? All right? Punchy, groovy, sassy, um, just phenomenally produced. <sighs> the grooves. Everything. I just, oh, and this ending double bass section is just like the perfect way to end the song. One of the best metal songs ever. Yeah, that comes in close second. It's it's pretty much tied with forensic clinicism, like for real. Oh my gosh. Yep, best guitar tones I've ever heard too. Very clean. Bill Steers to Jerry Cantrell of death metal. Dude doesn't age and he's an effing riff master. Monster. Metal from the 80s and early 90s is one of the most beautiful presents that God has given to headbangers. I agree. Works of art. Painted black. Ugh. I'm falling in love with this band. And I almost feel like I'm going to cry. I'm not even kidding. Like that, if they had kept going with that solo, I probably would have shed a tear. For real. And I love how he just, like, hinted a little bit of a lead solo in that last, like, chorus, that last push. Just this beautiful tone, and he just gave it for, like, a few bars, and then that was it. Mm. Track four on heart work. 93. Works of art painted black. Magnolo magniloquent bleeding dark. Monotonous palette, murky spectrum, grimly unlimited, food for thought, so prolific. 
in contrasting shades, forcefully fed abstraction, so choking, so provocative. A canvas to paint to degenerate, dark reflections, degeneration. A canvas to paint to degenerate, dark reflections of dark foul light. What an interesting way to end that. Somebody, this is not a reviewed, but it says, I see these lyrics as talking about art in general, but more relevantly music, especially the type of music Carcass and other bands like them make. It's dark, de denigrating art that some people just need to make to put all their dark thoughts and reflections into, and there's plenty of people willing to listen to it as well. So what's this song about? Because they're definitely keeping it, it's a, it's, Lyrically, it's the most tame song we have out of these four that we've listened to. And there's not too many, like, big words. <laughs> um, but we're not talking, it doesn't seem like we're talking about bodies. And chopping bodies. Bleeding works of art, seething works so dark, searing words from the heart bars. A canvas to paint to degenerate, I really like that. Dark Reflections G Degeneration. Man, you got... Okay, so here's an unreviewed thing. This is one of the singles from Carcass's album of the same name and is to this day their most famous song. Okay, it's Blend of Fast Death Metal and Iron Maiden style guitar harmonies. I was thinking Iron Maiden too, yeah. Help to find the melodic death metal genre. Okay. So would you classify all of their stuff as melodic death metal or just like this album? The song's lyrics tell of the grim side of artistic expression, comparing artistic creation to putting a body part on display. Said another way, hard work is a full commitment to displaying one's dark side through art. Bleeding works of art, seething works of dark. Grim side of artistic expression, comparing artistic creation to putting a body part on display. Yeah. Because it's so, like, raw and real. Okay. It's very poetic. And I agree. I definitely agree. Because definitely sharing your music with the world can be a very... For some people, it can be a very intimidating thing. Because some lyrics are extremely personal and... People don't want to share them but and so you have to also be open to like criticism and um, people just not liking your music but I would assume it's more even more interesting when you're a metal artist because you already have such a stigma around being a metal artist anyway to the masses I guess you could say but there are metalheads that enjoy carcass so I'm glad that they were able to find a base. I'm, I'm one of the base now. Okay, let's move on. Quick, more carcass. This mortal coil is up next from the same album. Get this Megan Trainer song out of my head. Especially with the section haste, haste, haste. Mm. Groovy, in the pocket. Definitely, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm 
so much clean sass to it and I loved how it's like one section started here and then it just like went to like ugh, it was totally different just a more amplified vibe but it was so beautiful panned like all here oh and then he just rings it out and we go right back into this groovy piece all right That doesn't feel like a three minute 50 song. That literally feels like a minute. Oh my gosh. Wait, that might be one of my favorite ones. That's a toughie. That's a real toughie. I definitely think the last three we heard were my favorites for sure. That's tough. Oh, this mortal coil. Oh man, that got me in my feels, dude. The guitar work. Oh, and it's so catchy too. Oh. I'm feeling like I'm gonna cry. I'm feeling emotional. I'm feeling like I need to put some incense on and drink a cup of tea because I'm about to be in my feels and listen to this mortal coil about like 12,000 more times. <laughs> oh my gosh. None of these people are carcass. I want my dads, the carcasses, the carcass boys. 93, huh? Tearing down the walls, breaching frontiers, unlocking the gates to a new world disorder, a fresh balance of terror, the equilibrium of hate. Archaic, nay science unleashed, entrenched, a bitter legacy, tempered in mental scars, all flesh entwined in mortal equality. Twisted and warped, tangled mortal coil, tangled mortal coil. Tearing down the walls, breaching frontiers, unlocking the gates to a new world disorder. 
a fresh balance of terror, the equilibrium of hate. Ours, the phase, the phrase, to shuffle off this mortal coil appears in the to be or not to be solo, solo, quay, 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 in Shakespeare's Hamlet. Don't laugh at me. It is a poetic way to describe the burden of existing in this world. Dang. All right. Any notes on this? No. <sighs> Although I love this song, and I absolutely loved Heartwork, I love both of those songs. It's, I can tell right off the bat, this is like definitely different than the previous two albums that we, that we heard. So this was from 93 and the other two were 98 and 91. So definitely there was, there's a switch and I'm not sure if they have like other songs on Heartwork that are similar to like what we see in Corporal Jigsaw, Jigsaw. Um, but in those first two songs, they're brutal, lyrically. <laughs> brutal, okay? And they're definitely, especially in Corporal, they're playing with the words, okay? They're really experimenting. They're giving you the grit, the grime, the cannibal corpse experience, okay? Hard work, you didn't see much of it in forensic clinicism, maybe a little bit, but it was a little bit more poetic and tamed, and definitely hard work is tamed. It's tamed down significantly, at least for these two songs that I noticed. Um, and that's only lyrically. Um, so reading the, both the lyrics from Heartwork in this word coil, you're not seeing as much um, wordplay making up those words, I guess you could say. Um, and we're not talking so much about like cutting up bodies and playing with them, um, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. I like the extreme. I like both sides of the coin. Um, hard work, different vibe instrumentally as well. Definitely feels more Iron Maiden. It, it feels less grimy if that's the right word where the first like three had that sort of like cannibal corpse grit heart work has a little bit more of like a oh, I'm gonna say it's like a brighter tone is that Iron Maiden kind of style I don't know it's it's just style wise it's a little different and I don't know if you hear that too but that's what I'm noticing so lyrically and a little bit style wise it's definitely different heart work is um, that being said, they're consistent. They're consistent when it comes to their delivery and their instrumentation. These are some talented, talented musicians. They know what they're doing. When they get behind their instrument, they know how to deliver. They know how to write a song that has beautiful transitions, fluid transitions. They've practiced them, they've nailed them, they know them, and they know how to perfectly place these little breakdowns, even if it's just for a couple measures and then they give you something completely different. And there's a few parts, at least I think, where they don't, where they don't return to a section. So they'll like introduce this sort of new tempo thing for a couple measures and then they'll do something completely different and they'll never return back to that. So it's very special and it's just like its own little thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is again my first listen. So I'm going to listen to these again and see if I notice that. Um, but I'm, I think vocal wise, I'm really noticing the, the deeper tone, the deeper sort of like guttural singer. That's what stands out to me. Um, yeah beautiful guitar tone especially in heart work oh my gosh just bright clean beautiful leads and they were experimenting a lot more with the panning and sort of like more of the the technicality for the listener um and i guess that's like the mastering section of it sort of um not really but i enjoyed it i enjoyed it 
Absolutely. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are on Carcass. What did you think about today's video? What did you think about the songs? Um, what's your favorite Carcass record, favorite song, least favorite? Have you seen them live? I would be super, super curious to know. And are they still together or not? Um, I would be interested to know that too. Um, really talented musicians. I'm honestly like, I'm surprised. I'm very pleasantly surprised. And I honestly think that this is one of my favorite metal bands that we've had on this channel, bar none. I'm gonna just keep it real. Um, very unique sound. I feel like we haven't had a sound like this on the channel. It's giving me, yeah, it's kind of giving me Cannibal Corpse meets Iron Maiden, but there's just some new sort of vibe to it. It's, it's different. And um, the musicianship is just, it's there. So anyway, that's going to do for the reaction. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, do so. Okay, it was so close to 10,000 um, subscribers. Go ahead and join the Discord, the Mosh Pit. There's an invite link down below. We would love to have you. We are literally so close to 150 members, and we're growing daily. So... Come on, say hi, join our little fam. Um, it's a very welcoming community. We say hello, we say good morning, we say good night. We have listening parties, we do movie nights, and um, be a part of a metal community that is nothing but love and fun, then join. Um, and yeah, uh, stay safe. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. And um, I really hope that you have a wonderful rest of your morning, your afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are and whenever you are watching this. I'll see you soon. Bye, you guys.